Okay, what you been doing? Okay, so we just hit the bottom of Cuesta. I wasn't really paying attention, so we hit it about, we were probably already down about 55 on the speedometer, which is a little faster. Uh, we are in fourth gear already. Uh -huh. And I'm pretty much, you know, as much throttle as I'm going to give. We're pretty heavy today. We have uh, all this fuel left. We have. Uh, we're down about, but we figured I think right around 160 pounds from where we were fully loaded when we came, right? That's Maybe. A, yeah, really rough gas. We oh. have, the car has still has, you know, fuel in it. Uh -huh. Yeah, most of the tank. Is the, oh, so then maybe the, not. The toy R has most of a tank of gas. We have least, all, yeah. At least half. Yeah. Uh, fresh is in the It's not fresh tray. anymore, but yeah, it's there. The, but it's not gone. We haven't nope. drained anything. Uh, yeah. The truck's got half a quarter of a tank of gas now. But we're holding steady at 50 on this speedometer, which is probably closer to 45. Oh, 55, that's right, it goes yeah, up, okay. 55. Actually, it's pulling back up, but we'll clear down to third gear. Okay. So, I'm, I'm a little bit off the floor, I'm not mashed down. And it feels like you're not really doing much, I mean, right? Like, yeah, I, I mean, mean, you're not fighting to stay. No. It doesn't sound like it's screaming, like, when we had the Chevy, sometimes it would sound like it was just working so hard. Yeah. Had we hit it at 65, we probably would have maintained 60 or so. We just... Back, back, just starting to climb back up now. Anyone hold it there and get the perspective of your people. I can't see all your... I think, uh... Okay. Yeah, if I roll into the throttle a little bit more, it'll... You can see it cl uh, climbing closer to 50. Yep. But, uh... Yeah, we're not going to set the world on fire, but we're, we get, we're getting up, but... Yeah, and it's not... I mean, I'm telling you, you guys, if you've ever... You, a lot of you towed coming up a steep hill like this. Um, I just remember the Chevy. I was always like, oh, my God, it sounded so... It always got us there. Yeah, well, the Chevy was, I don't know, 290 horse and about Gas. the same, about the same, uh, uh, torque. And Gas was, motor. We were towing a, a heavy. five, 6,000 pound trailer with it. We're paying, we're, we're towing a 15,000 pound trailer. Yeah, that Chevy had over 200,000 miles. Yeah. yeah. But this thing's, you know, 800 foot pounds of torque and 400 horsepower or so. The, a newer. So, Seven percent grade in one mile. Yeah. Slow drop. So we're gonna now we're gonna drop down again. We've shown you that before. We're elevation at, right here. We're at fifteen hundred twenty-two feet. Yeah. But this truck is eight hundred foot pounds of torque, four hundred horsepower roughly. Um, then a newer version of this truck, you know, a, se a seventeen or a twenty or they're they're you know they're getting up there close to a thousand foot. Pounds oh yeah, of torque. yeah. So even some of the I mean it's crazy the way the tow capacity of some of these so, trucks. So we're gonna bring the speed down. This is a really short run, so I'm not gonna get too crazy with it. Guys, I cannot believe I just saw but a baby deer. We're gonna cruise at about fifty. Oh. hit the bottom of this it pretty much levels out and we'll just go ahead and let it roll but that's the whole thing that was up cuesta that was up and down i mean you've seen the down now you saw the up yeah going down what we just came up is, is a lot more sketchy than coming down oh yeah i mean it is a lot more sketchy and that's why they have all those i didn't know what a runoff lane was or whatever they call it for the trucks until you told me that is scary but at least i mean better that than a bunch of cars you have to pull out through, I guess. Oh, I know. Yeah. I bet, okay, guys, but more importantly, I saw a baby deer. A baby one. Eating grass. So cute. Nibbling it. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. It's real. Okay. That's it. I don't know. I never thought it would happen to me. It's <laughs> <laughs> my left. Okay. So, that's Brandy over there. Look. She's over there. And then one shirt. She's going to get us Jack in the Box. We're parked along the we're parked along the side of the road right here. I'm trying to figure out. It doesn't look like they have any diesel here. And we need some diesel. And I can't tell if they have any over there or not. I don't really want to give up the spot, but at the same time, we need diesel. So I think I'm gonna to try to pull over there because I can't tell from here. Pull up behind that trailer that's sitting there and hopefully get some diesel and then come back out and park somewhere along this road so when she comes back we can leave
a little tight around here. So we're gonna do our best. Here we go. If they have diesel, I don't think they have diesel. I might have goofed. Goofed. Yeah, I definitely can't tell if they have diesel. I don't know. Alright, well, we're gonna go up here and see if there's any way we can turn around because we're here now. Okay, I ended up turning into this parking lot. I thought it was a road. <laughs> this gets worse by the moment. We're gonna have to pull in here and back out, I think. Damn it. Oh, man. Why did I do this? You know what I'm saying? You know what, actually, I'm gonna back in there. This is made to back into. I have a camera right there, so. We're gonna back into that spot right there, and then we'll pull out. See if we can do this. See that mirror? It'd be helpful if my mirrors and windows weren't so dirty. They are filthy. Yeah. We got this. I think we got it. You see the trailer? In 400 feet, turn left onto Ramada Drive. Look at that. We can go straight into the dock, looks like. Pick up a load. Make some money on this trip, huh? It's hard to see. Mirrors. So dirty. Windows are so dirty. So dirty. Alright, so we got out of that predicament. Let's go up here and see what we can do. I don't think there's any diesel at that place. I bet you that's the brewery right down there. Yeah. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Green Valley Road. Alright. See if this see if there's any chance that this Chevron has diesel. I can't tell. Oh, here's our sign. Find out right here. I'm gonna say yes, I do. Oh, and it's only seven dollars a gallon. Sweet. Are you kidding me? Okay. I think we're gonna skip on that. Seven dollars. Over seven, seven sixteen or something. Over seven dollars. Mm -mm. I don't know what I paid at the last stop. I wasn't paying close attention, but I don't think it was seven dollars, right? Okay. I said it's a show. Why are you stopping here again? What'd you do? Well, when we came in the, out of the parking lot. We, on this. You can see it bent over. Oh! But I can smell rubber and see smoke. I don't understand. I, I think I can think of this. I don't know what was going to find one of the tires. Obviously. Yeah, you were that. dragging the tires. Like, what? they were just like, you're not in like locked and four wheel drive or some weird thing. And also, yeah, you were drag. I looked out the window and these weren't spinning on my side. Weird. Okay, uh, we didn't drag anything else, right? I mean, yeah, I don't know what's up. what about something under the truck? What about something under the truck? Here. No? <laughs> All right, so we're about, what, 45 minutes from home? I'm going to go with what, I'm going to go with what you said, yeah. Yeah, we're about 45 minutes from home. That's going to put us home. Somewhere around 8.30, in between 8.39, somewhere in that range. So good. That's easy. Yeah. Uh, we're I'm exhausted. Really we've, so we've had a good time. Wait a break. So it's totally worth it that we're exhausted, but we are exhausted. Uh, so this is probably going to conclude our epic adventure to Pismo. However, yeah. if there's anything notable, well, we will definitely pick up the camera. We'll pick up the camera and get right back to you. Even if there's some stuff that might not be that notable, we'll probably do it anyway. It doesn't matter. But thanks for watching. Um, if you guys aren't subscribed, you're here on the channel. You should do it. And click that bell because we have, I mean, there's been a lot of content over the weekend and that's not going away. We're going to be pushing more and more stuff out. Some random, 
some hilarious, some kind of funny. All of it definitely funny, though, I think. Some scary. We've got some stuff coming. Um, some rad, some awesome. But anyways, uh, yeah, all that jazz. So click the bell so you get notified when all that starts coming out. Follow the links that we have below to our groups. And then come ride with us someday. That's why we do this. We want to meet you guys. So we have lots of stuff coming. Thank you, guys. Hit the thumbs up button, too. And talk to us. Peace.